Hi, Mrs. Jones. My name is Rachel and I am the nurse that will be taking care of you again today. I'm here to provide information and would like to continue our teaching session about warfarin from yesterday. I see you've had your breakfast and have finished your daily morning activities. Is now a good time for you? Great, let's get started. So just to review, our overall goal before you are discharged from the hospital is for you to have an increased understanding about warfarin safety and how to apply safe practices into your daily life. Today I would like to discuss the foods you eat at home, specifically vitamin K foods and how to identify vitamin K foods. Our goal at the end of this teaching session is for you to be able to correctly select three foods high in vitamin K. So we discussed yesterday that the foods you eat can affect how well the blood thinner warfarin works for you. Too much vitamin K can work against or lower the effect of warfarin. Also, sudden increases or decreases may affect your response to warfarin. It is important to keep your vitamin K intake as consistent as possible. To keep your vitamin K intake consistent, you need to be aware of how much vitamin K is in the foods you eat. Do you have any questions so far? No? Okay. One of the easiest way to remember foods high in vitamin K is to think of green leafy vegetables. I brought some examples to show you. We have kale, collard greens, and spinach. These foods are high in vitamin K. Other foods high in vitamin K are turnip greens, broccoli, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. Again, what do these foods have in common? They are green leafy vegetables. You told me when I was completing your admission database that you eat these green leafy vegetables for dinner every night. I think it's great you eat vegetables daily and focused on eating a balanced diet. Just remember that it is important to keep your vitamin K intake consistent daily. It's also important to talk with your health care provider before you make any diet changes. This will help ensure that warfarin works best for you. Now let's discuss some examples of foods low in vitamin K. Here I brought carrots, cucumbers, and raspberries. These are foods that are low in vitamin K. It's important to eat a balanced diet, and while these foods are low in vitamin K, they provide other important nutrients your body needs. Can you tell me what the main difference is in appearance from foods low in vitamin K versus foods high in vitamin K? Yes, you are correct, Mrs. Jones. The green leafy vegetables are a great way to identify the foods high in vitamin K. So I have here with me a pamphlet that I'm going to give to you. It is called Understanding Your Coumadin Therapy. Now remember, warfarin and coumadin are the same medication. Coumadin is the brand name for warfarin. This is a great pamphlet that includes information on what you need to know while you are taking warfarin. There is a section in the pamphlet that discusses the importance of maintaining a consistent intake of vitamin K. It has a table that can help you identify certain foods with vitamin K. And it ranks the foods in order from highest to lowest in vitamin K content. The table provides the name of the food, the portion size, and the vitamin K amount. For example, it shows the first one on the list is kale. It's frozen, cooked, or boiled. It is ranked as the highest in vitamin K content, and the portion size is one cup. So knowing the portion size will help you to keep track of how much you are eating. This pamphlet should make it easier for you at home when you are planning meals to help keep your vitamin K intake consistent. It can also serve as a quick guide when you're in the grocery store and can fit easily into your purse. So to review, example of foods high in vitamin K are the green leafy vegetables such as the kale, collard greens, and the spinach. 
Examples of foods low in vitamin K are carrots, cucumbers, and raspberries. So Mrs. Jones, from the foods here in this basket, can you tell me the three foods? Can you pick out the three foods that are highest in vitamin K? Yes, you're correct, Miss Jones. Selecting the kale, the collard greens, and spinach are the foods high in vitamin K. Maintaining a consistent intake of vitamin K foods will help warfarin work best for you. Since we are at the end of our session, do you have any questions for me? No? Well, if you think of any, please let me know and I will be happy to discuss them with you before you are discharged. Thank you, Ms. Jones.